Oj. Och hålla dig. Hello Jimmy, hello Tara. Can someone just let me know if you are able to see properly and hear me properly? So we can start our session. Okay, so today we are going to do some acrylic painting and most of you, I hope you all have this acrylic painting with you. In case if you don't have, you can just uh, for today because I will make it a little easier today. So we can make it with acrylic painting or poster colors or even your oil pastels. Okay, so let's start with that. Okay, and hello Chinmayi, new joining. Okay, dears, uh, I, I think a lot of new, new kids are here. So what you have to do is if I'm going too fast or if you can't follow that speed, just pause the video and go slowly, slowly. Okay, dears. And hi, Arini, how are you, Atreya? Yes. And yes, dear, I'm fine, Yarini. Okay. No, <laughs> no, Anya, I'll never forget you. Okay. Okay, yes, uh, Shreya, you can use watercolor also. Okay. So now let's start without wasting much time. So keep your book in uh, portrait mode or the lengthy way, the vertical way. Okay. I'll keep a little bit higher. I think this is fine. Getting a proper video, I mean proper view. Okay, so let's start. So, what you have to do is get ready with your drawing stuffs. Okay, so we can start. Okay. Yes, dear, uh, you can use your any pick sheet or even the canvas also totally fine okay anything up to you yes yes dear anything is fine okay and man with the fine baby thank you so much okay so let's start dears so keep your book in portrait mode and exact in the middle just row one horizontal line In the middle of your sheet, make one horizontal line. The sketching part will be very easy, but uh, the watercolor, I mean the painting part will be a little tricky, but yes, we can make it easy as well. Good evening, Chinmayi. Hi, Neha. And yes, hello Kiki Doodle. <laughs> then, hello Devjani. Hi Raina, I'm good dear. How are you? Thanks for asking. Okay, Vanya, no worries. Okay, so now see to the bottom half. Okay, to the bottom half. Okay, exact from the center, we are adding some wavy lines. Just for the waves of our sea. Okay, <laughs> I, I forgot to tell you that we are going to draw a beach scene, okay? A beach, a pretty beach with uh, this line. Below we will add the beach on this side. And over here we will add some coconut tree kind of. And a small rocky hilly area. And that's it, okay? Nobody asked me what we are going to do today. <laughs> Okay, so just draw some wavy lines over here for the waves of the sea which we are going to do. Mm, no problem, Tara, you can use any paint, I mean poster color also you can use or uh, we'll say with oil pastels also you can manage. Yes. Neha baby, you can use drawing paper, anything. I'm also using a normal drawing sheet with uh, like 100 or 300 GSM. No, 160 GSM. 
okay okay so let's continue i hope you all have done until this step next step is over here we will make a pretty rocky hill over here so just add a very simple one not too much of anything no problem vanya just anything normal will be enough okay and finally two coconut trees over here okay so starting from here just one curve a big curve like this okay i'm making it a little more lengthy Okay, like this and for the other side making one more curve hello tejasvita tejasvita kanchini no baby i don't know telugu but a uh, few words i know ikkada <laughs> kucho like that few words very 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 little i know <laughs> but don't know how to converse with someone who knows telugu and all just few words <laughs> okay so that's it one one section done now if you want you can add one more coconut tree beside it okay so right now i'm not feeling to add that but if you like you can add one more okay so the what do you say the coconut leaves so one curve from the top another curve on the left side and dears when you are making the coconut tree make sure the base is little thicker compared to the top part okay always make sure for all the trees try to make the base little more thicker i mean this part should be wide and this part should be close to each other okay now again adding as many leaves as you want okay as many coconut leaves so just throw as many curves for that so i'm planning to make five so i drew five leaves and now we can erase all that kind of things which comes in between so erasing the part of the first line which we have drawn also the rocky hill and yes this much would be enough now the completion i mean the fine part detailings of the leaves like all these things and all we can directly do with painting or uh, with directly with paint or your colors so okay? whatever color you are using we can use that so that's it this is the sketching parts our sketching part is completed now we are moving to the painting session and that is the thing which we need to do carefully okay so just ready with your acrylic paint and what you have to take is first take a light blue paint you have and uh if you um, many of you already have uh, practiced with acrylic paint in case if not uh, the peculiarity of acrylic paint is paints is one one thing it is get dry fast so you don't need to take a lot of paint and waste it take little by little as much as you want and after that another thing is usually we used to make dark to light okay like that okay Okay, so take your blue paint light blue paint and take little by little okay 
<laughs> no problem, Tara, you can correct it. <laughs> okay, so let me take a little light blue acrylic paint, very light blue. And if you have a flat brush, it would be nice to use that. Yes, dear, Saluvian blue or cobalt blue or any kind of blue will be enough, okay? And yes, Google, I know Tamil, little by little again, okay? So I'm taking the light blue and see, dears, on the top, we are focusing on the top part of the, of the sheet, okay? And what you have to do is just give some strokes horizontal strokes like this okay start from the very top Yes, dear, you can use oil pastels or any any medium. You can use poster colors or oil pastels. Okay. As it is our first session with acrylic, it's totally fine. I'll make, I'm not using much tricks uh, with acrylic. So any medium is fine. You can just use any medium, but blend it properly. Like give too many strokes like this. Okay, it's totally fine if you, uh, uh, ultramarine blue will be very dark, I guess, dear. Cobalt blue or Peluvian blue or such light shade will be apparently beautiful, but it's fine if uh, ultramarine blue and Prussian blues are quite darker. just keep on doing and it's totally fine if you overlap this part and see now these parts this area beyond this part okay this much area I'm not going to fill with light blue and it's totally fine if you're using acrylic paint it's totally fine if you miss that also I mean fill that also totally fine see like this keep on blending like this And all of you, those who don't have a set of acrylic, try to get a set. You can practice more. It's really nice medium. If you keep practicing, this is one of the best medium. You can make beautiful, beautiful artworks with. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, maybe uh, Vanya, then you try a sunset sky, like with that yellow, orange and red shades. Okay, anyone, if you don't have a proper light blue, can try like that, make it a sunset scene. Uh, 
uh, mixing white i'm not sure we will give you a proper light blue shade but yes give it a try dear because uh, usually when you mix the white it will be probably into a gray shade i think but just give it a try Yes, I said acrylic paints will get uh, dry up so fast. So always take little by little and keep your bottle closed also. Okay. Yes, dear, totally fine. If you overlap, also totally fine. Okay, so just give a nice light blue shade all over the top part. Now, after doing that much area, we'll shift to the C. Again, we need some dark blue to light blue shade. Okay, here we need some dark blue and to light blue. So if you have a Prussian blue or as we say, which blue? Prussian blue or any kind of dark blue shades you can use now okay all right so I'm taking a little Prussian blue to start over here okay see this area the very top area and also uh, after finishing painting I mean after painting with acrylic uh, clean your brush as fast as possible dry it up and save okay or else the brush will also get spoiled so be very careful while doing the acrylic paint but it's uh, such a nice medium So I'm giving a dark blue shade to the top part Again, mixing some light blue. Blend properly. How to blend? Just keep on doing the strokes with your brush Okay, fill until the last part with a light blue so starting from dark blue mixing 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 and getting it to light blue shade as we come to the lower side okay, and keep 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 on giving some strokes so it will blend properly and that gradient effect will come So our C part also completed. It's perfect without any white space and all.
and keep your brushes once you finish uh, finishing finish painting keep your brushes in water only okay now next part is the sea area i mean the sand area over here the beach area okay for that i want you to have some yellow ochre shade in in your acrylic paint if you don't have it try mixing some light brown or orange with light brown kind of shades you can mix to make it a sand color okay and again try I mean take little by little paint only as you know we don't want to waste it and we can we can't store the acrylic paint again so take little by little okay now if you have seen this area are not properly done right the, all the fine edges so this area we will fill with uh, white paint over that okay so no need to worry about that now and let's take some yellow ochre shade for the sand area or any color that uh, that is okay any color that is uh, going along with uh, this matches for the sand area you can use okay and again let's fill all this area from here until the edge over here and anyone uh, still doing the sky or water part just keep your video paused and do slowly only no hurry do it all slowly slowly finish it Uh, dear Kiki, I'm using the yellow ochre shade, okay, but if you don't have, uh, you can use a light brown shade if you have or a dark yellow shade if you have or just mix any of these two together to get a proper shade of sand. The yellow ochre acrylic paint. Or the earth tones, any earth tones you can make with a little yellow plus um, a red plus blue. If you make it, you can mix like that. That is all color mixing theory. You don't have to do now. Okay, but try, try with some random paints and learn some mixing. Hello, Krishi. Okay. Hi, Krishi. How are you? Okay, dear. 
so all our previous sessions are there okay if you like you can have a look and try and send to me your works also i'd love to see them okay so completely done fill the entire area of the sand also okay again you can see this edge part is not properly done because we are going to fill that area with white paint okay so finally we have a we have this part this rocky area so if you have a sap green color or a dark green shade you can use that to fill that area Okay, a little sap green would be enough. Okay, simply fill all that. Okay, this kind of green, something which is little darker. Simply fill first and then we can give the detailings. And yes, Atreya, hmm. uh, yes, Atreya, you can use peach color for the uh, sand. And uh, pages with a yes, dear, but uh, you got an option to post the video, dear. Okay, so just post the video and do it slowly only, all of you. Okay, no need to go hurry slowly slowly do but just pause the video and post i mean go slow <laughs> and that's it peach color and we can give some shading with brown and all okay even that also looks nice okay so i hope you all have completed until this can someone just let me know if you have completed Then okay, so now let's go to the next step. Okay, so we have completed one green shade, I mean sap green shade for the that uh, rocky region, right? Now I'm taking little dark green, a viridian hue or kind of any dark green shade. Okay, there's any any green shade, and I'm using a small round brush, okay, round tip small brush. Okay, and what I'm going to do is this is with acrylic. Okay, dears, see just like uh, every session we used to do this, right? Like simply giving some tapping, tapping. So just like that, give some taps on the top of it. Okay, like this, a few taps, not too much. Okay, like over here, but not completely. Okay, dears not completely randomly here and there like some green grasses like that 
stitches with some fine dappings. Tap, 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 like that. Then, okay, like this, you can just give some shadings with the viridian hue or any dark green, okay. And with uh, also with the same sap green also you can do it okay no need to take a different shade of green okay with the same green sap green also without adding much water you can give some tap tap taps okay and those who are doing with uh, oil pastels or poster colors or watercolors also just give some random shadings with a dark color okay just totally fine just give some random shading. That's enough. Okay, so. Okay, Aruni completed. Pranida completed. And Chinmali colored the sky. Totally fine there, no problem. Totally fine. Okay. And hello Vedant and okay Vanya also done. Okay, now let's go to the next step. Next step is we need a brown color to give to the uh, for the stem of our coconut tree. A brown color will be fine. Okay, so I'm taking a brown color shade. And we need the same brown for giving some shadings to our sand also so take a little bit as much as we need okay don't take extra paint it will be wasted so always take very little only little by little if we need more we can again mix And let's fill the coconut tree. Okay, how many coconut trees you have added? No problem, slowly fill it. Neatly fill, okay, over this. Mm, yes, dear Anna, take your time, slowly do, no problem. All this recording will remain. Okay, and make sure uh, your it's not I mean the sand area is already dried fine or else it will get spread the paint will get spread you know that so slowly okay slowly fine lines and should not spread so make sure it's completely dry Uh, if you don't have yellow curl, try with a peach shade also, dear. Peach shade also, totally fine. Okay. 
okay slowly complete it with a brown color and this if you don't have a yellow ochre you can also mix a little brown with yellow and see if you if you are able to get a shade proper shade like a sand peach okay now again we have to focus on the no before we let's do some shading on the this sand area also okay So see, I'm taking a light shade of this brown, okay, same brown, adding little water, okay. And with that water, I'm just giving some shading on the top area over here. See, very lightly you have to give, okay. And some here randomly, some here, just few strokes here and there. like this very few shades you can give okay few shades also if you have any paint left like if it is too much paint is left just with that brown color you can just give some rocks here and there like two three spots or circles okay like this you can add some some rocks or some materials or whatever okay done okay Deva, no, Ved Prakash okay now wash the brush again and time to again take all your green colors okay whatever green shades you have and those who are using acrylic painting first you have to pick the darkest shade you have and then you have to take the lighter shade okay just like that you have to go so let's take the darker shade of your acrylic paint <coughs> and now those who are using normal paint or uh, I mean normal color of that you can use dark I mean lighter shade first and then shade with a darker color okay I hope you got the difference if you are using acrylic paint first you need to give a darker shade and then you have to highlight with light light tones and if you are using any other colors like a watercolor or poster color try to give the light shade first and then use the darker shades okay so i'm using this darker green and filling the we just like giving a thick shade that's it okay not drawing anything or anything just around it with a darker shade just giving one coat with a darker green okay. 
and after that you need to take a lighter shade of green i hope you all have a light green shade and those who don't have can just mix a little blue light blue and green to get a light green shade or just using directly some light green i mean a uh, light green or again mix some dark green to yellow so you will get a stroke of light greens okay now with this light green shade you need to give some lines like this on the top of the dark green okay so first we have given one dark green shade after that with the light green we are giving some lines like this for the leaves of the coconut tree Okay, or just some yellow lines also totally fine. Okay, so I hope you now you understood that uh, for the acrylic paint, once it's dry, you can add any color on the top. Beautiful. But if it is watercolor or poster color, again it will get mixed or spread with the base color. Okay, so that's the reason acrylic paints are quite easier. So when doing the acrylic painting, it's always better to finish the background first and then the foreground all these things okay so finally the last step is to get a white paint so wash your brushes properly and we can start the giving some white waves and some some clouds on the sky okay so once you are done with this much just get your white acrylic thick acrylic okay no need to mix a lot of water just direct with some white acrylic okay let's start take some white acrylic paint and see over here okay all these edges will just add some white acrylic paint just like giving some taps okay so now it will not get mixed just because it's acrylic paint and the base painting is almost dried completely so now we can use some white paint thick paint okay make it thick enough And all the edges of the edges of the waves, please add some nice white. Hello, Vandana. And dears, are you all able to follow? And is 
it hard for you the acrylic or is it easy or let me know shall we do more acrylic session or Now let's add a little bit more towards the land and also some strokes inside the water also. Yes, that is Bhumika. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, dear. So just add a random strokes here and there. Just like this. Okay, it will be nice if you add. Or you can leave that also. Plus, we can add some clouds also. Okay, so just directly with some white paint. Simply add some strokes on the sky. Just give some taps like this in the shape of the cloud with acrylic paint and those who are using uh, watercolor or poster colors wait for the blue color to dry completely and do this part okay with very thick paint you need to do with thick paint okay Okay, like this you can add two, three set of clouds and more waves. Okay, yes, uh, yes, Tara, you can, dear. And finally, let's complete it by giving some some darker shades of blue or black you can just give some dark shades on the edges and we can complete the painting So that's it. We can finish it now. And if any paint remaining, we can just stick it and give it some shadings or just fill it randomly anywhere. You can give some shadows or shadings. Yes, we don't need to erase the paint. And finally, with the white paint, we can just give some with a very small tip brush. Once you finish everything, you can just give some shading to the coconut tree. Okay, like on the edges, you can add some. white strokes 
sure dear all of you please share with me your drawings okay just send to me and i'll be uploading it on our facebook page so you can see all of your drawings on there so all of you should send to me please okay, giving some shading or highlighting yes dear yes no worries please <laughs> don't feel bad dear don't feel bad whatever you are sending totally fine we just started today right it's our first session on acrylic that's why maybe it's okay we can practice more and on the go you all will be able to make it in case if it goes bad if that means you need to practice more that's it okay. okay so we can practice more with acrylic by the next session all of you should get a set of acrylic and I will give you more sessions if you like okay if you are ready to learn I will give you more sessions okay so that's it our beach is almost done Okay, just make it more beautiful by adding more shadings and shadows okay so again I'm give, taking some dark green to give some shadows to the to the coconut leaves okay so if you have done it no problem if yours is not clean properly you can give one more line okay and using acrylic paint you can paint over it again and again as many times we want okay so that's another another yeah that's another nice thing to do with acrylic paint okay so if it is acrylic paint you can over and over you can paint again okay you can entirely completely you can change the picture by yes okay so what else uh, Chinmayi you can send to me dear uh, to my whatsapp number okay you can send to my whatsapp number my whatsapp number is the same that's the admins number of our group okay so just send to me all of you those who have completed and that's it okay so I'm just simply giving too many too many shadings over and over again just to make it a little bit more perfect. Okay, so that's it, dears. So send me your work. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so let's next session we can do something more easier. If you find it harder, no worries, we can do anything which is more easier and those who have joined for the first time can always access to all our previous sessions are there on our on the list if you check the description of the same video you can see the, all the previous session and keep doing and send to me and don't forget to subscribe also that's it okay take care dears then kiki doodle yes dear you're done okay send to me all of you Chinmayi, bye savanna uh, now i can't dear now i can't join and yes reina okay reina also send me neha bye dear then who else all right bye vanya bye dears take care all of you okay bye